Okay, she's all squeaky clean now. Ford 1710. Yeah, clean it up really nice. And they had painted over this damn thing right here. So I'll have to check that and read it. Uh, it's just a check it list, checklist. But uh, here's the engine. And it is a 10W30, 10W40. Well, she clean, squeaky clean everywhere. That shit all off of it, all over it. And there's wires off of it. I have to figure out where this wire right here goes. I'm not sure. There's a push-in tab somewhere. I don't know. It could be right there beside the starter, but there's only one tab on that starter. It's a little loose on the solenoid that part is so uh hmm it's a little loose that one is this one i had to figure out where it goes i don't know where it goes but i got the wiring diagram i got all the diagram for it and everything so i'll figure it out goes to something the uh <laughs> A bunch of these wires are cut here. Here's two that's cut right here, or three, possible four. I don't know. All right. And then I got one I'm thinking goes to the alternator. This one right here. It blowed off. I think it goes right here. Right on there. Like that. And then uh, there's a couple back in here that I've seen there off. I know the steering leaks. Uh, it's just a question of where. So I'd have to take the steering wheel off, pull this housing off right here, and uh, get it up and out of the way, anyway, where I can look at it. But there's two wires off there, I know for sure. One's a light, I'm pretty sure of, and then the other one has got a, a um, damn black wire. Where the hell is it? There it is, right there. Right there. That goes to the light. The this wire right here to right here. So that ain't no major issue. Uh hmm. I see he has put the rubber up on the bleed off valve, so I'll have to get another one of them. Bleed it off. Let's see that's tight. We'll check that, loosen that, and then tighten that, and loosen them all, and then tighten them, and then put the power back on it. But, she's pretty fucking clean. Yeah. Yeah, don't spray the uh, radiator. I'll have to take the radiator out and straighten them fins up right there. <laughs> Dead gun, it won't have air flowing through it. Uh, other than that, I got all the black shit off of it. it. It was just covered. All through here was covered with black mold. So that cleaned up pretty good. And uh, I could actually take some polishing compound and bring that out, but why? Uh, and this got uh, quick connects on it, so I know I can take the loader off. The one, two, three, three, and then four right here, so I know the loader will come off. No problem. Uh, that's missing two bolts right here. One here and one on the other side. Uh, I just want to get where I can operate the tractor and bush all get shit down over there and work on the loader as I go. Because I got to replace one, two, three. There's three. Four five six hoses on it right here which <laughs> let's say twenty dollars for this and uh about uh 15 10 or 15 for that one and then there's one right there all the way down that's uh gonna be about 15 and then these longer ones it's five foot uh 
that's not even really five foot, but I'm not gonna say five foot because I'm gonna bring it up here and put my thing on it to hold it. Then look at this. You get down in here and pinch behind this thing and it'll be screwed. I just need to replace them all really. But I know one, two, three, and then four, five, six hoses times twenty dollars. You know what I'm saying? 120 bucks just on hoses and that's a little over and then depending on whether or not they have left the o-rings out we'll have to see right here because this uh foams i'm gonna crank it up here in a minute fill it up with uh hydraulic fluid and then we'll crank it up uh i'm either leaking real bad right here on these seals for these things or I'm leaking real bad right here which there's o-rings behind up here and there's an o-ring up here and then there's four o-rings on each one of these and you know you never know they could have lost them uh, screwing around with it but anyway uh, uh, the brake ain't stuck I got it up throttle everything on it so uh, just let it drip dry for a little while and then I'll come out here with a battery and we'll crank it up. I'll get new batteries for the camera and we'll crank it up. And the uh, truck, I gotta pull the motor on it. I have no oil pressure. I put the new sending unit on it, no oil pressure. I put the mechanical with just the hose and it's not pumping shit out of it. So, uh, shit. Man, this be wish it was like an old one with a distributor. You could just stick down in there and spin that pump until it just starts pumping fluid uh, oil everywhere. But sh can't do that. Dad, damn it! So I got to pull the motor. Uh, damn! It cranks up and runs just like a top. Uh huh. All right, y'all. Peace. Enjoy.